Y'all keep your eyes open. There's some weird stuff going on in Asheville right now. Listen to this. So I'm sitting at home, about to go out to gather supplies, and I hear a knock at the door. I look out the window to find two guys from the fire department. Well, it didn't look like an emergency, so I decided to see what they were going to do instead of answering the door. And I'm glad I did, because I couldn't believe what I saw next. I have a storm door, which was locked. When I didn't answer the door, this representative of the fire department proceeded to try and pull my door open as much as he could. Then he tried to stick his fingers through the crack to tamper with my locking mechanism in full view of his much younger accomplice. His attempt was unsuccessful because I have it locked with the secret sauce. So they go to the back door and try to pull the same crap. After the second failed attempt, I watch them walk out of sight. I'm thinking maybe they gave up, but I'm sitting there wondering, what the hell just happened? Why were they literally trying to break into my apartment? I didn't have time to ponder though. I had time sensitive things to do and they already interrupted me. So I head out, lock the door behind me, and when I turn around to take my first step off the porch, I stop in my tracks because they're back. And not only that, but they brought the whole fire truck and at least like four or five other firefighters with breaching equipment and everything. Now I'm standing there frozen for a moment, thinking to myself, man, this is some Truman Show ass shit right here. Then I snap out of it, walk towards them, and ask them, what the fuck are y'all doing? What is going on? Why are you at my apartment with all this? Everyone scrambled back into their trucks, leaving just one woman standing in front of me. She looked me dead in my face and said, we're just doing a wellness check. I'm like, are you freaking kidding me? On whose behalf? Who the hell sent you to check on me? She said it was just a neighbor. They said they couldn't get a hold of me. I'm like, hmm, that sure is weird because all my neighbors have seen me coming and going. I've spoken to them. They know I'm fine. So whoever sent you over here, it's against my will. And I don't even know who the hell they are. Please don't come back. The whole situation was just fishy. I don't have a single neighbor that should be the least bit concerned about what I'm doing. Anyway, they leave. So then I leave to take care of what I was trying to do. When I got to the community center, I started talking about what happened with another tenant. The other tenant informed me that they also got a visit, along with everyone else. So apparently, they were just going door to door doing pop wellness check and it's like okay whatever but that just raises more questions like why the hell were they trying to force my door open and why the hell did she lie to my face when I asked why they were there telling me a neighbor sent them to check on me when that's clearly not the case a complete bold-faced lie for what the whole thing stinks to me here's the issue I almost left that morning and I decided not to because I had a bad feeling. But what if I wasn't there when they showed up? What about all the other people who weren't home or didn't answer the door? Are they just taking this disaster as a free pass to go looking through people's homes while they're gone? Even if they had the apartment staff ready to let them in. Last time I checked, they're required to give 24 hours written notice before they come up in my place. Seriously, what the fuck is going on here? Have we slipped into the twilight zone? Or is there some kind of executive order I'm unaware of that gives them the authority to do this? Frankly, I don't give a fuck. No executive order gives them the right to lie to my face when I ask them why they're at my house. I don't know what the hell y'all are up to, but I know you're trying to cover your ass. And I don't know what kind of intel you're really trying to collect, but I don't think it's got a damn thing to do with making sure we're okay. You all are really pushing my fucking boundaries. And if any of you happen to see this, Feel free to explain yourself in the comments. Because I'm really curious what you think gives you the authority to send these little creepy ass dudes to my home to remove any form of security from its structure, much less step inside. Not that I'll ever believe anything you say again since you've already lied to me once. Everyone else, make sure your house is in order, I guess. You never know who's gonna just waltz up in there for your safety, of course. What do you all think about this? I feel super violated. Is this even remotely legal? How would you feel and react? Let me know.